Okay, so hi guys, it's Ms. Lollipop and welcome back to another episode of the Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge. Hi guys, I just wanted to let you know about a system that I'm actually putting into this 100 Baby Challenge series. Basically, um, it will all give you the chance to add your Sims or your male Sims into the game so that my Sim, Kelsey, will have the chance to have a potential baby with the men that you put in the game for me. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a hashtag for you guys to enter your male sims into, which there's actually already been one person who has already used that. So to be able to enter in, um, you know, to the hashtags so that I can search you up and find all of your hashtags on here. If you go ahead and add it to the description when you upload it, so add in your description just here before you upload it to the gallery, go ahead and type in hashtag 100 baby miss lollipop um, it doesn't matter about the case sensitive just as long as it says that um, I can go ahead and add your guys sims into the game and you have the chance of my sim obviously having a baby and your sim being picked um, and I'm going to go ahead and add all of these sims in off camera so you might see your sims sort of floating around as well which would be quite cool for you guys to see your sims and point them out and obviously let us know in the comment section if they're your sims or not so I'll go ahead and leave it off here and I hope you guys enjoy the video Okay, there we go. So we're back in the household. So um, let's go ahead and uh, finish up what we were doing. So Kelsey was going to quickly go use the toilet, but I'll let her go repair the um, toilet first. Kids, um, you need a shower real bad because you stank. So girl, go and um, I'll replace that for you. Go and have a shower. Um, so all grades are up. Perfect. So I think they've all just hit an A in school. So you just hit an A, good job girl, um, and your character values uh, are here. So you are not in the opportunity to have that yet. So what do they need to do? Um, doing poorly in school, breaking curfew, what can they do? Clean up toys, brushing teeth, um, getting good grades, and doing schoolwork. Okay, so we need to get her, um, her responsibility up for her to be able to um, actually... Um, for her to be able to actually, you know, um, age up. So she's not actually, she's not actually allowed to age up yet because her skills aren't high enough. So we'll have her put this outside and start working carefully on this. And I wonder if it's going to be the same issue with Harrison. Harrison's nearly there, but again, he probably needs to go to sleep. So that's probably his main focus. And Danielle, um, she is now an A grade, but she doesn't need to have her skill up. Um, so she's all good. So as long as we can get a cake made for her, um, she can just go ahead and get aged up now. So let's go ahead and make her... We're going to try and get the sugar-free cakes since um, I know Kelsey is going on a health kick. So we'll go ahead and make some sugar-free cakes and we'll go ahead and get um, Danielle age up. It's super sad that we can't have her brother with her. But, you know, girl's got to move on. We've got to live our life. Um, you know, maybe maybe her brother is actually living with her dad and we just don't we just don't know about it. And maybe her dad just hasn't told Kelsey about it yet. I'm just trying to make excuses, guys. I don't know where the hell he's gone. <laughs> it's so bad. I literally cannot find him. I went down the whole entire town. Um, I'm gonna have to have another look again, um, just to see if maybe he's popped up now. Uh, maybe the game's placed him somewhere yet. Um, but you get the idea, basically. Um, he's kind of missing, which is which is very upsetting, but it's, it's, you know, it's happened. So yeah, it's upsetting, but it's now. Watch her age up. Okay, good. They're, they're not going to walk away. Let's go ahead and get Danielle aged up. Go on, girl, blow out your candles. What is she going to look like? Okay. She's just struggling with the candles. And there we go. This is what she looks like. So this is Danielle. Does she not look... Well, wait, who is she? All right, she's a Lautner. I was thinking, she looks... She does really look like... um um Not Jacob. What's his name? Taylor Lautner. Um, because of, like, her wider jaw. Um, But I'm kind of liking it. She's, she's, she's looking pretty... um She's looking pretty good. So we go ahead and grab her a slice. We'll go ahead and give her a makeover in the next episode anyway. So you guys will see her, you know, up close anyways. Hunter wants to come around. That's actually their dad, but we're going to go ahead and say no. So we don't really want any baby daddies coming around to the house. It's a bit weird. Um, and he'll maybe he'll find out a secret, which we, we do not want. 
Okay, so Kelsey has just woken up and we need to definitely change her underwear because she doesn't need to be walking around like this, especially with her kids seeing her. While she's pregnant most of the time, it is not a good look. So we definitely need to change this outfit. Her poor child needs to look at this. Um, but either way, um, Kelsey's actually got this mood look, which is super cute, where she is thinking about baby names because she's thinking whether it's going to be a girl or a boy, which I thought was really cute that she was doing that. Um, we also have had Anastasia come out here and look after the garden. Um, she sold everything, which is why we've got a lot of money again. And the sprinklers turned on and, you know, all of this worked. Um, so really, yeah, that was that was kind of it with those ones. Um, so I'm going to go send um, Anastasia back to bed because she's feeling pretty tired and send her brother to bed as well. Um, and then I think Harrison's the only one to get his responsibility up um, just a little bit and then he can um, age up tomorrow as well. So that should be super good. Um, and the kids are all gonna go to bed, um, so we can have them put themselves to bed. There you go, you, you guys can go and head into bed yourself. Uh, we don't need to walk you all the way there. No, no, let's go, put, go to bed. Come on, you're going to bed yourself as well. Like this, go to bed. Listen to me. Okay, good. Right, thank god. Kelsey, um, darling, 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 go use the toilet. And then I want to call a repair technician because there's probably some stuff that needs to be repaired in here. And then we're going to go have her head outside and go do a little bit of yoga. Um, since it is like one o'clock in the morning and this is like how our sleeping schedule works. She always just wakes up at completely ridiculous times. Um, which is fine because uh, it means that we can get some stuff done while everybody else is asleep. Which is a lot less stressful than when everybody else is not asleep. So there we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and have Kelsey head on out and tend the table. I think we had our first thing that just went spoil, which is kind of sad. Um, so let's get out there really quick because I couldn't be bothered to drag them into the kitchen earlier because I was kind of being a bit lazy. So I want to have her get out there and start selling the stuff before it goes spoiled. I think we've got a few hours left of most of the things on there, so that should be good. We'll go ahead and start the yard sale and then I'll go and drag over all the food that we just made. So we just made some fresh chicken. Um, we made some fruit scones, some berry macaroons. Um, some gelatin cakes, we've got some casseroles um, and then we'll keep the grand breakfasts in there and then let's go ahead and restock the table. Okay, so everybody is back from school so I think it needs to be like showers and basically watching TV for most of them so let's go and have them all head off and do that go and grab some leftovers Somebody needs to do their homework. You can do your homework as well. Looks like the kids are all good, but the teenagers are in a bit of a state at the moment. We do need to make sure we go ahead and get Danielle a job as well. So I didn't realize how tiny her waist is. That's crazy, like her proportion size, isn't it? Um, that's like a dream, dream hourglass figure she's got going on there. Um, okay, so I suppose, did she restock the table? Cause it doesn't look like there's much on there. Oh, it must've been just because somebody bought something a second ago. Prices are up by 300%. So let's see if we can get some stuff sold today. So this is Zach Hanton. He's actually pretty cute. Um, let's go ahead and give him a cheerful introduction. This is what he looks like just here. He might be one of your townies because I did add in some more of your guys' townies. So we will see them walking around, which will be really good. Um, so we'll go ahead and say hello to him so that we know him and we can work on him and schmooze him, you know? Um, this is Dylan O'Brien. Obviously, we already used him as a baby daddy this time, just gone. Um, and I can't really see anybody else. It'd be really cool if we could just come over here and grab, um, the drink, the cool tea. Everybody always leaves their stuff over here. I don't know why. Okay, right. Maybe Dylan will want to buy some food. Listen, baby daddy, I'm currently pregnant with your children. Do you want some food? You need to fund your children. Okay, go ahead and make sure you restock that. We're getting some good, good money from all of this stuff that we're selling. Looks like the tuna casseroles and the roast chickens aren't just selling just yet. Maybe people don't want... Maybe people want snacks when they come home from not from work, not tuna casseroles. Um, but apparently everything hurts from her being pregnant and she definitely will be giving birth sometime soon because that is looking massive like it's actually huge her belly i mean everything's a lot less stressful now it always used to be pretty bad like in the start of this game uh, or when we first started out i was really struggling with trying to like micromanage everybody 
Um, but now I feel like we've sort of come to the idea where everything is flowing well. Um, and I'm not like in too much of a, you know, rush and trying to get through everything really quick. I'm, I'm just really happy with how, how it all turned out. So I'm, I'm happy with that anyways. So that cake should be ready so we can go ahead and get the kids aged up. So we'll go ahead and get Anastasia to come and, is it Anastasia? Oh, it is, isn't it? Oh, I'm going to be so sad when they're gone. Um, okay, let's go ahead and add some... What's she doing? Go. What are you doing? Cheats. Reset. Right, let's go and um, add some birthday candles to this cake so that we can go ahead and get these guys aged up. Um, you're going to need a bath. Um, so Harrison, can we go and give your little baby sister a bath? Because mum is... She's in a bit of a state at the moment. Um, she can't even get in to get to the food. So if we could come and grab some leftovers, that would be amazing. Okay, what are you moaning at now, Kelsey? Just stop. Right, okay, Anastasia, let's go ahead and get her aged up first. Let's go and make a wish, and I hope all your wishes come true later on in life. We'll make sure to catch up with all the kids at a later date once Kelsey ages up, which will be in the next episode because she'll have her baby, and then we'll go ahead and have her birthday in the next episode. Oh, look at her in the background. She's so cute. So we'll go ahead and make sure that everybody um, is, is there for Kelsey's birthday. Um, which would be really cool. Oh, look at her from birthday party. Oh, so cute. Right, let's go ahead and have Harrison um, go ahead and age up himself. And then these guys need to be kicked out of the house, unfortunately. But, you know, they've got to go. They can't stay here forever. So we'll go ahead and get Harrison out of here. There we go. And he has aged up. Perfect. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So today we are back and Kelsey has actually just gone into labor again. So this is going to be super fun. We're going to go and take her off to the hospital and have her have a baby or babies. Hopefully it's going to be triplets this time because we did give her the fertile trait. So I am really hoping that she will end up, uh, just making sure my sound's on it is. Uh, I, I'm really hoping that she will end up um, having maybe triplets um, and not twins this time. But, you know, we'll get whatever we get. Um, so... I wasn't actually anticipating on uploading this. Um, I, this is either going to go up on Saturday or on Sunday. I'm assuming most likely Sunday. Um, actually, it was supposed to be a BitLife video today. However, I went and loaded up my BitLife um, and I literally started recording and everything and I said hi to you guys. And then I went and loaded the app up on my phone and it was gone. The whole life that we had built in the BitLife series was completely gone. So I posted up on um, YouTube and I put a poll up there whether I thought you guys uh, I whether I got your you know your ideas whether we should start from the beginning again and restart the series from part one um, and have a completely new life or whether I should try to replicate the life and keep re-rolling until we get something that's alike to it um, and then go ahead and continue from there from where we was with Eleanor so far out of like 50 replies um, it's basically nearly 100% towards starting a new life but we'll see how it goes. So um, the Bit Life series will probably be up on Monday instead. Um, just once I get your guys' verdict on what you want us to do on the uh, on the episode. Because I wanted to get your guys' opinions before I went and just done whatever I think we should do. So yeah, it should be really good to get your guys' opinions. It was really sad of what happened, but... Um, I've turned off the auto update now so it would never update the app again when we're in the middle of a series But I didn't actually realize that when it updates the app you lose the whole entire like uh, Life that you'd built which is really sad actually and kind of stupid But I get why there's probably no workaround towards it. So whatever either way We get to start off from the beginning and yeah, it was kind of kind of sad, but it, it happened so um, we're gonna have Kelsey head on off to the hospital. We're gonna go and um, maybe we should actually just send her alone this time. Um, her her knees are kind of fine. I think we'll just send her alone. I can't really be bothered to go all the way to hospital to have the babies with her. Um, so we'll send her on off by herself. And then I need to go ahead and get up the um, comments from the last video because we need to pick a name suggestion today. So. Um, let me click on the video and click on the comments. Um, so basically once, uh, Kelsey gets back from having the babies, um, we will then be able to, um, Kelsey's having a baby. Uh, we'll be able to age her up in this episode and also give her a makeover, which is why I didn't go ahead and give, uh, Danielle a makeover because we, she will actually, 
um, end up having a makeover anyways. So there was not really any point in me doing that. So, yep. Um, I will wait until we give Kelsey a makeover. So, first one is a baby boy. Okay, so... Um, this is going to be Dylan O'Brien's uh, babies. So let's have a look through the name suggestions, shall we? Wait, I remember somebody suggested such a good name. Um, I think it was like Styles or something because Dylan O'Brien was named Styles in the Teen Wolf series that I used to watch when I was younger, actually. Um, and I thought that you guys suggested that if we had a boy that we should name him Styles, and I thought that was such a good idea. So, um, let me see where that comment was. Make sure I get it right. Okay, there was the uh, comment. So, okay, um, let me let me give the name a go. Yuritsa dot G. Tell me if I got it right in the comment section. They suggested that if we had Dylan O'Brien's baby, that we should name it Styles if it's a boy, which I completely agree with. I think it's very fitting. So we have Styles, um, it's about like that. And obviously he is an O'Brien. Let me make sure I spell the name right. O'Brien, I think it's like that, but let me just check if it's an E or an A. It's an E, so O'Brien. Okay, so Styles O'Brien, there we go. And another baby boy. Okay, let me go and find another name suggestion. Oh my God, <laughs> so many babies. I'm really hoping it's gonna be triplets. This is gonna be our first lot of triplets if we get some. Ooh, Sweet Simming suggested for a boy, um, Layton, which is L-A-Y-T-O-N. I think that's a really good name. I do really like that. So we've got Layton O'Brien. I -E -N. Yeah, that's the film. I was like, am I spelling that right? It doesn't look long enough. Right. Moment of truth. Oh, no, only twins. I'm so sad. <laughs> okay, whatever. We just had we just had some twins, so it's fine. So, um what just happened? Uh so how many babies are we on? We're on 15 babies. Is that including um I think that's not including uh what what's his what's his name? Uh, oh, what's his, oh, no, I forgot his name, Harrison, that's it, Harrison, I think, is his name Harrison? Yeah, Harrison Launtner, I think so, either way, um, it's not including him, so that's, um, that's okay. I realise everything's actually going out of date here, we need to sell it really quick, so I think these ones have just gone off, so I need to go ahead and throw them away, um, but everything else looks good, so we need to make sure we actually sell everything off in this episode. Um, in the meantime, let me just make sure the babies are in the right place and they're not just floating around. They are, and they are asleep, thank God, so we haven't got to look after them. Um, so the kiddly wings are up. I'm going to send them back to bed since I want them to have like a full night's rest so we can start working on them, um, you know, this morning. And then we're going to go ahead and make sure that we throw Kelsey a party tonight. Um, so we're going to invite some people around. Hopefully we can get her pregnant again because obviously that's just how we roll here. Um, and yeah, I think it would be really cool if we could just throw her a party since she doesn't really get any fun. Like as you guys said, she doesn't really do anything other than her yoga that we just got for her. She goes out there and she does her yoga. So I want to, you know, be able to... Um, be able for her to have you know some like some nice things and i think a party would be really good for her but we need to do our bake sale today so um we'll go ahead and head on into the calendar we will add an event because it is her birthday today oh my god okay so it is going to be a birthday party um if we make it a gold event we might get a new bedroom item so i'm gonna do that just in case because we, we could always get something to sell if need be so the birthday sim is obviously kelsey and then our guest, we want, um, obviously not the kids that live with us, but we want Harrison, Anastasia. Oh, sorry. Um, we want Zoe, we want Dallas, and Jackson, of course. Um, these are all the baby daddies. Haley, oh my god, I'm looking through these and I'm like, oh, my little booze. Natalie, uh, Lila. Uh, I think that's it. Are these the only kids that's moved out? I feel like we we had more children move out, but apparently not. I mean, I suppose if we only had 13 or 15 babies by, by now, um, it makes sense. I would invite over Stuart because we haven't done anything with him just yet. And he's an elder, but he's very cute. So I want to invite him over. Um, JJ Riker can come as well. Um, and also, 
these guys shouldn't come because I've already been with them. I'm just checking for all the cute men. Maybe Zach Hanon um, can turn up. Devon Duarte, we haven't been with him yet. And I think that's really all the men that we know. And obviously all of these guys are in our, in our, in our inventory. All of these guys are with us anyways. Um, so to hire a caterer, instead of hiring one, it's going to cost us money. I'll ask if Bianca can come over. A mixologist, we don't have a thingy anyways, and an entertainer, we don't have a microphone, so that's good. And we're going to throw it at our house, the Hartman 100 Baby Challenge household. And I think we'll throw it at around 7 o'clock tonight, I think that's a good time. We'll go ahead and throw that, and that just costs us 100 simoleons, which isn't too bad. So, my boo, I'm going to have her come out here and make the most of while the children are asleep. And also whilst the um, food is still in date and ready to use. Because I think we've only got, yeah, like four. These have got like days on them left. Is there anything that like goes off in a few hours? Um, I don't really think anything else goes off in a few hours. I think it was just, just only those. But either way, we'll, um, we'll work on this. So we'll mark up the prices and have her go and sell her stuff. Um, there isn't anything... Oh wait, there is a carrot cake which you can sell half of, so why not whack it in there? Um, oh, we can actually sell these little toys that we get given. Um, I'll go ahead and pop those up there then. Right, stuck the table back up. And I've also put some of your guys' men in the town, so hopefully we will get some little cuties. Apparently the babies are hungry even though they're not crying. So we're going to need to quickly go run down there and go and sort them out. Um, go and get them fed. In fact, we can just click on super efficient baby care on them now, can't we? So, super efficient baby care. Super efficient baby care. Oh, gotta love that. Level 10 of the parenting skill. <laughs> um, and then we'll head back upstairs and start tending that table again. So, Leighton and Styles. Oh my god, so cute. Okay, go ahead and take care of him. There we go. And who is trying to touch my baby? Someone is coming down here trying to touch my child. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Right, feed and cuddle. Oh, it's because we just done super efficient baby care. I think there must be like a cool down on it where you can't do it like um, together. So you guys were like, oh, let's lock the doors so that people can't get in. You know what? I don't even care if people turn up because they start cleaning up my house. They start, you know, like playing with my stuff. Like I don't really care if they come in here. If they come and break stuff, then I'd probably care. But they actually just come in and like start like cleaning up my house and stuff and taking care of my kids. So like... I don't care if they come in, you know, like, it's free help, so <laughs> I'm not gonna say no, am I? You guys said that you wanted to see some mixtures of You guys said you wanted to see some mixtures of ethnicity in this uh, challenge, so, like, um, Asian Sims, we want, um, you know, some, um, black Sims, we want, you know, um, Hispanic, we want all the different kinds of races in this uh, challenge so i want you guys to go ahead what well, i'm choking on my hair um i want you guys to go ahead and make some men who are of different ethnicities um in the 100 baby challenge hashtag so i can go ahead and get them in the game so that we can you know link up with some of them because there really isn't too many um like different races within the sims game that just come normally i have noticed that there hasn't been that many different um sims so it would be good if you guys could link me to some so i can put them you know on in the um, household that that girl's really cute Um, so we can put them in the household and or sorry put them in the um world and i can go ahead and you know start um working on them and you know start macking on them to trying to get some different um races in this you know this family i think it'd be really nice to get some different ethnicities that should be really cute so yes go ahead and link me to some because we need some cute men because gardening apparently isn't fun to sims well you know I don't know who finds gardening fun. In fairness, my mother, actually, she gardens quite a lot. Um, she finds gardening fun. She she has a YouTube channel where she stitches and she gardens. She's like an old woman before her time. And that's very stereotypical, but that's what we say to her and she laughs. So she finds it funny. So I'm not being rude, but, you know, she enjoys herself and she's really cute. So it's fine. She, she's living up her life, so. <laughs> um, This guy's pretty cute, actually. Um, I'm just looking at him. Dean Harrison. He's okay. He's not got a bad looking face. He's not like anything special. That's why I want you guys to give me some more suggestions, you know, because there isn't really anybody too cute. 
Speaking of, hello cutie, I see one, I see one. Go ahead and give that man a cheerful introduction because he deserves it. Um, and apparently, no, 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 did we meet him? Did we meet him? No, we never even meet, we didn't even meet him. No, no, go and give him a cheerful introduction. Come on, dude. Okay, thank God he stopped. Um, right, go and give him a cheerful introduction and then start selling some more stuff. Okay, so it looks like the party has just begun. So we're gonna go ahead and wake Kelsey up. There we go. And then we need to go ahead and make ourselves a cake. So let's see what is the best cake that we can make Kelsey. Um, we've got a blue confetti cake. So that seems like the best one that we can make her. So let's go ahead and make that. Look at her in a little outfit. Oh my God, looking so snazzy. Um, guys, like, come on, can we let her get to the fridge, please? Um, we could actually have a honey cake. Maybe she actually, yeah, let's go have a honey cake because we need to use up some of that honey that she's got. Apparently, she's not wearing no shoes, but she's in her own house. So, like, she can do whatever the hell she wants, so. <laughs> um, what are you doing? You're getting a bit hungry. Okay, grab some fruit cake. She looks so good. I'm going to be so sad to cut her hair off, though, honestly, because I love her with this, like, hairstyle that she's got, especially when she has it back like this, but... I suppose she might be able to wear extensions when she gets in her formal wear or her party wear, which we don't see too often anyways. But um, yeah, we want to give her a bit more of a mumsy look, you know? She's, she, has, she has a lot of children, a lot, lot of children. She's, she's a mum to many, so <laughs> looks like the kids are actually going to come over and start talking to her. Look at our little beauties coming over. So this was Harrison. So what was the other boy's name that we, that we missed? You know, like the one who got kicked out. Jonas? Was that his name? Was his name Jonas? Maybe it was. I think it was Jonas, actually. Yeah. So everybody's here. They were looking all cute. Oh my god, I'm so excited. She doesn't have such a good fun skill just of fun um, yet. So if we could go ahead and actually buy a um, hmm. this could probably go. I don't. We don't even use this to be honest. It's kind of just taking up random room. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell this and that, and then we'll go ahead and buy like a stereo to go there. Something broke again, or we need to go and actually get that repaired because we're not going to be able to um, make any food for her birthday. So we need to have Sims play games at the same time, have Sims listen to the stereo, and also have some drinks. So um, I think this will count as drinking. So we can just go and restock this little tray up here once we've finished. We've got the caterer here. She's making some food, which is super good. It's just going to be a really fun episode to just sort of have them chill. This is the guy we actually invited that we could, you know, do it with. He has really, really beautiful blue eyes. I fancy some blue-eyed children, you know? So um, maybe we could work on him. Oh my god, look how good she looks. This is Zoe looking like a queen in her party wear. I'm so, so proud of how she turned out. She's probably, I hate her favourites, but she probably, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> um, I hate her favourites, but she probably is my favourite so far. I know that's bad to say. But I'd say, I'd say she's my favourite, so, you know, I, I do have favourites, so. <laughs> um, did she finish baking that cake? Uh, I hope you guys didn't just hear my stomach, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, no, she never even finished it. Where did her stuff go? I literally have no idea. I literally have no idea. Okay, whatever. Let me add everybody to a group, so add uh, people to a group. We're gonna add all the guys. We'll add the uh, we'll add the adults because we want to grab some drinks. So we're only gonna add the adults in. Um, that should be enough. Okay, let's go ahead and grab a drink. Looks like we can't have everybody grab a drink. I was hoping we could like invite everyone to grab one, but apparently not. Looks like everything's fixed up. Um, I hate to say it, but you didn't get to my fridge. Am I gonna have to pay to replace this? How much does it cost? Oh, only 188 volumes. Like, I might as well have just done that first of all. Okay, maybe we should make a gourmet. Um, oh, these all look like no, 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 not a gourmet cake because they all look like um, they look like wedding cakes. And girl, she ain't getting married. So, right, don't anybody touch it. I need to put. Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Don't you dare touch that cake. Go and put some candles on it. Come on, girl. Quick, quick! We need to get you aged up. Okay, right, let's go. And let's celebrate, and then let's go and make a wish. Girl, you have a lot of wishes in life, okay? And I'm gonna try and hit them all for you. Go, go and blow out your candles and turn into an adult and have more children. <laughs> go and get pregnant again. Wait, no, you didn't even look after her. What are you doing? I didn't tell you you could sleep yet. 
Go and sort her out. Go. Wait, let's go and celebrate. Even the caterer is here, like, you know, celebrating her birthday with her. Oh, look! She's blowing out her candles. Oh, she's gonna age up. There we go. She's not even looking any different, but we are gonna give her a few wrinkles, just a few. There we go. She is looking perfect. Awesome. So, um, I suppose we can have her go and grab herself a drink. Oh, no. Oh, I can't believe that. You guys were definitely shouting at me, telling me that there was already a cake that we made and that we finished, because I wondered where that cake went. I can't believe she actually finished it. I'm so annoyed. Why is she doing sit on the floor like this? Girl, how old are you? <laughs> Stand up. Go and sit on the sofa. Oh, we don't know. We don't have a sofa? Oh no, we do. This was like our lounge area. Well, you can just go sit out there, you know? Like, why have you got to do that? Okay, right. Let's go ahead and pop into Creator Sim. I'll go ahead and wake up Kelsey and we'll go ahead and give her her makeover. It's been a roller coaster, but you stayed. And now I'm taking over for the day. Cause I can be what you wanna be. And I can feel, but 
So, hi guys, we are back, and I finished up with Kelsey's makeover, and I actually really, really like her look, so I'll go ahead and show you in-game. So, basically, I've gone for a much more mature look on her. I've gone for things that are flattering her body shape a little bit more, because obviously she's having a lot of kids, so she has put on a bit of weight, so we're trying to find things that, um, you know, flatter her more than maybe the other ones were. Um, they didn't really fit in the right places, if you know what I'm talking about. So I think now she is looking uh, much nicer, much more like her age. I also added this little bit around her eyes. You can't really see it too much, but it's just like under here. Um, it just makes a little slight crease. Once she turns into an elder, obviously, we will be continuing on with the next generation. And then we can, you know, change her completely and put on some wrinkles. But I wanted to make her look a little bit older since she just turned into an adult. Um, and yeah, I really, really like her style. I cut her hair into a bob like I said I would. Um, and we kept the ombre because obviously that is definitely a Kelsey thing. Um, and she, you know, she rocks the ombre very well. Um, so as you can see by a lot of her outfits, um, she is generally more covered. She's going for like more comfy outfits. I'm not like necessarily looking for outfits that look the best. I was looking for more ones that I thought would be easy for her to get into in the morning. Just sort of chill out and you know, just, just be really chill and mumsy and you know, I was just trying to look for that sort of appeal when we came to it. So go ahead and let me know in the comment section below if you like it. And then obviously afterwards we gave a makeover to Danielle. Danielle is gorgeous. Let me just say she is absolutely stunning um however um i did go for like a slight um like farmer-esque look for her like I, I again i wanted to go for a really chill look so although her hair is quite nice and quite windswept i feel like her hair would just generally wake up and it would, it would be like that you know like if she curled it once it would just stay in that position and she wouldn't bother like you know doing it she's just sort of like you know it's just sort of casual and done um and obviously her outfit she's got like a um not like a pinny for i'm trying to think of what the outfit would be called like a, um, like a, a jumpsuit, play suit, no. Dungarees, that's it, dungarees and a little sweater underneath. Um, since she is gonna be a, or she, since she is a green thumb, um, so I feel like she would be out in the garden quite a lot and working outside with Kelsey. So I was trying to go for things that suited her sort of look. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off here because uh, it's gone on for long enough because we did have that little clip at the start of this video from the last video because the last video went on for too long so you would have seen that at the start of this video. So sorry it didn't like very transition very well from the first clip to the second clip um, but it was a case of, um, you know, transitioning. I didn't want to like not include what happened in the end of the last episode so yeah um we're gonna go ahead and end this episode off here so as always if you guys enjoyed go ahead and leave a like on the video and if you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below and i get around to them as soon as i can and if you are new it'd be awesome if you could subscribe because obviously it helps our little family grow and we just hit 15,000 subscribers which is actually incredible we're on 15,700 already um we're gonna quickly be going to 20,000 and i already said for you guys i done a giveaway at 10,000 so i'm gonna go do another giveaway at 20,000 for you lovely people um so I will be giving away a few games for you at 20,000 to make up for, you know, the support that you guys give me in my series so that I can give back to you and, you know, give to people who maybe can't get it themselves or can't afford them. Um, and then that way, you know, we could all play The Sims and we could play together. So if you want to hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button, you're going to get a... Oh. If you want to hit the little notification bell next to the subscribe button, you get notified every single time I upload, which means you never waste when I uploads. And I think that's everything. So as always, I love you all and I'll speak to you in the next episode. I hope you have a great rest of the week. Bye. I choke you down just like a